Take your washer off, kids. There's glass bead. Yeah. I don't know which one you should go for the $35 one or the $124 one. I mean, let's try the $35 one. Oh, this is it, right? 50 pound glass. You have to take one, I guess. Yeah. I was just looking at it. So, what, you just squirted out this? I guess so. Because, yeah, that's where the hose is at. So. Hmm. Where's the air going at, though? I mean. I mean yeah, oh yeah, so, I mean, it's gotta have a air chip fittings. So we'll just... Alright. Let's see. I'll do 70 grit. I mean, it doesn't need to be crazy blasted. Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad. Oh, there. there they are. Right there. Oh. Nothing. Hopefully this fixes the transmission. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you put it. You, oh, okay. You put it there. It's yeah. a siphon feed. Yeah. Let's just make sure. Nothing but quality. Mm -hmm. Those are sticks. A tig rod, right? Tig, yeah. Yeah. Tig. Success. It weighs a lot. <laughs> we found that out. It's got a lot of gravity. Yeah, they make good stuff. That's easy to remove. We'll have to grind it because yeah. like, it's not perfect fit anymore. Yeah, it's kind of. I just super glue it. JB Weld. Okay, so this is the solution that we came up with. Hopefully it's gonna be the most right solution, but sandblasted all the edges where we're gonna to weld to, and then the welding shop that we went to said, cool. put some muriatic acid on it. Where is that at? Muriatic acid to clean the case and the little pieces, and then clean it with water, let it dry, and start fitting all these pieces back together. I'm sure somebody can tell us we've been doing, we're doing this all wrong, but. <laughs> I mean, this is the first time dropping a really nice transmission and cracking the case. Watch so. it dissolve. Oh God, that'd be the worst thing. They just disappeared. Let's see. I think it's doing something. Try to keep the edges in there. 
We might not leave it in there that long. Yeah, that looks like it's doing work. We probably should have diluted that. Yeah. I yeah. Would, let's get water. Yeah. It's probably more like two to one. Yeah, this stuff's potent. Yeah. You know what they say. Learning the hard way is the best way. Or something like that. I mean, the one thing is the gear star still drives good after this. I can highly recommend them. <laughs> and if it doesn't, I can still recommend them. Finally got the TIG welder out of retirement. I haven't used it in like seven years. Um, I think all the pieces are there. And then we got our huge tank on it. And this lovely contraption, since I didn't have 220 back here, we just got some Romex and you know, made our own extension cord. As long as you don't touch it, it'll be fine. To this one. You want to be the one to yeah, do the I'm test hit? Let's see. Cool. We didn't die. Ready? Yep. You act like you're surprised. <laughs> okay. Is it set for aluminum? I don't need to be AC or DC. Um, I forget. It's been a while. AC, yeah. Yeah, uh, 4043. 4043 16ths? Uh, 3 16ths. 332, excuse me. It'll work. Yeah, 4. Right here. Yep. Um, pre flow, 0.4. We'll do that, 0.4. What's post flow? Uh, six. Post six. Torque size, three eighths and seven sixteenths. Gas flow at 17. Well, here, let me hit the pedal, see what it's at. You ready? Yep. It's at 17. Sweet. And then clearance effect, I just got it at zero. And then amps, I got it cranked up pretty high. And then the foot pedal's plugged in. And then we need AC. Do you want to do the Harbor Freight Rods, or do you want to do the, the welding store rods? Let's try the welding store rods. That's what I was thinking. Can you tell it's been a while since I've used my equipment? This was the first nice thing I bought when I first started working at a body shop. It was like a $400 helmet, $300 helmet. Yeah, and the last nice thing you bought, too. Yeah. <laughs> Can't take shit out of here. Probably should bring it in. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and say that preheating, obviously, with cast is the better move. I just pulled a little bit of heat out of it because I'm way too hot. what's going to make me feel better about this. It's certainly not tight. Snug.
you feel about it? How do I feel about it? Yeah. Um, not your truck? Not my truck. Well, I at least feel okay about it, so. And it is my truck. I mean, I'm not a great TIG welder. Yeah, and I've never done cast aluminum. Cast aluminum, so. Now you have. And we got the perfect mm -hmm. elements of the wind tunnel. Running. The wind tunnel. Uh, I call that a C minus or a D. Four yeah, definitely gonna hold. Ooh. She's on there. Penetrimmy. Not the greatest penetration. Almost penetration. Yeah. All, right, all yours. Oh, round? Yeah. Just testing you. Master welder. Yeah, not really. <clears throat> it looks pretty good. I slowed it down, like, <clears throat> I, I just brought the heat back. Mm -hmm. It seemed to melt better. And you just have to add the filler on top, like, above it. Because it seems like if you go below it, it just runs right. I mean, you can see the pool of yeah. aluminum on the ground. Like, it just seems like it beads right off if you don't kind of... I mean, I didn't burn the tip up as bad. Yeah. Like the last time, so... Yeah. Cast alum welding aluminum shop, here you go. I hope not. Is that what my future holds? I guess so. Cast aluminum? We'll see how many times I can drop this transmission. God! It's just all just filler rod. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just do the rest of it, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's hot. Oh yeah, you can totally feel that the door's open. Yeah. I can see the arc just like blowing out. That actually I mean it ain't good looking. No, but it's holdable. I mean I'm getting some good penetration on it. Oh. Can you give me that other tiny stick? I'm gonna out. Just like that. <laughs> you just melt it on yeah. you. I know you're supposed to hold the argon to it. I don't <laughs> think it's really been making much of a difference. Yeah. I'm, I'm okay with how this is turning out. Oh yeah, no, this is... I'm gonna let everything cool down. It yeah. is what it is. <laughs> Falls off. I mean, it feels, I mean, I didn't grab too hard on it, but it, I mean, I think if it was going to, you know, if it was going to fall and break off, it would have done it by now. I learned how to, I guess, weld cast aluminum or something. Yeah, um, it hasn't fallen it. off. Yeah. So I passed the first test. We, I still got to do a little bit here, trimming and a little filling of this gap right there. Um, other than that, I think the transmission's fine. I don't think we destroyed it too bad um, which is a good thing so happy about that i used my tig welder for the first time and i've never seen you use it in at least <laughs> seven years all right see y'all